Hi, welcome to Proving Tutorial for Physics. In this video, I will explain you about the angle of vision that which belongs to human eye and a colorful world and the class physical sense. So here, angle of vision for a healthy person. To decide the angle of vision for the healthy human eye, just we are performing one activity. After the activity, we will define an angle of vision. So for this simple activity, you need just a wooden sticks having different heights and a retarder stand. One more is threads and a protractor. These are the minimum required uh, materials. So let us start that uh, activity here. Just put the retort stand on the table. Then you have to fix your view along the horizontal rod as you see here. Here, while observing any rod, don't change your uh, view, right? So I'll tell you how to fix your view. Just here you have to bring a wooden stick along the horizontal rod that wooden stick is perpendicular to the horizontal rod here then observe that without changing your view so here your view is fixed along the horizontal rod then without changing the direction of view just you have to observe the top and bottom of the wooden stick here if it is visible, okay, then you can fix uh, that wooden stick there. If it is not visible, just change the position of a uh, horizontal so that uh, wooden uh, stick. If you are unable to see that, just you have to change the position of wooden stick either inside or outside this uh, position. Move towards or away from that place. So here if it is not visible, that I am moving away. So here it is moving. Then here it is able to see the top and the bottom of the wooden stick at a time. Then I'm going to fix that wooden stick on the horizontal rod here to the retard stand. So now it is fixed, then leave it at the same place. Then take uh, one more stick having the different uh, height. Let it follow the same steps here for the wooden stick having the different height then check that without changing your view fix that view then observe the top and bottom of the wooden stick here if it is visible here then you can fix the wooden stick there only so it is visible i'm going to fix that then i'll put one more wooden stick with a different height let us plot and uh, select the position where it is visible it's a uh, top and uh, bottom without change in the view so here it is visible then let us fix that so after fixing that here you are able to see the top and bottom of these are uh, three wooden sticks first one second one and third one it's a top and it's a uh, bottom so all the tops and all the bottoms of the wooden sticks you are able to see by fixing your view along these horizontal rod. So this you have to observe. At that places only you have to fix the wooden sticks on the horizontal rod at various positions. So we are finding that positions. Then after finding that locations, you have to fix them. Then using the thread connect uh, top and the bottom suppose from the third that which is far from you here top is tying with a thread and using another thread i'm going to tie that uh, bottom of the third rod third wooden stick yeah. here using that thread i'm going to connect to the point near the eye here so how it is just uh, look at so use a 
thread to connect towards I. Then use one more thread from the bottom of the third uh, pulling stick, connect it as you see here. Then using the protractor, you have to measure the angle between this uh, top and uh, bottom threads. So what the angle you will find out, that angle you have to note down. So here I am observing that angle is uh, 60 degrees. Using the protractor, I got the angle is 60 degrees. So that angle is noticed here. Then what happens if you move any vertical stick on the horizontal rod? Either first one or the last one or the middle one. So here first I am going to move the third. I will take it inside the position towards this direction. If I move that towards what happens? So move it slowly. After moving that, just connect it using different uh, color thread here as you did in the previous. So top and bottom is now connecting with another uh, thread here. Black colored used it. Then follow the same step, measuring the angle between that uh, top and bottom of uh, this uh, black colored uh, lines. That angle you will observe it is greater than 60 degrees. But here you have to remember that the wooden stick is just a position changer but not replaced by any other. That means height is fixed. No different. Then what happens if I move this first wooden stick away from that position? So it is far from you. What do you estimate here? First we will uh, decide that. Look at I am changing the position of the wooden stick on the horizontal rod. Let us take that and move away. Then it is displaced. It is displaced. Let us see what happens. Let us see what happens. Here using the thread and connecting the top and bottom of the object after fixing this uh, rod here. Then connect it. Again measure the angle between this uh, green color lines. You will find that angle is smaller than 60 degrees. So this angle observed is smaller than 60 degrees. So here you notice that, that angle is 60 degrees to observe the top and the bottom of this uh, wooden sticks. If it is greater than what happens? If it is smaller than what happens? Look at here, if the angle is greater than 60 degrees, here this spot which is encircled here, this spot is disappeared. It is not in your view. It is not in your view. So this happens. If it is smaller than you are able to see the complete whole object. So this is in your limit only. So here now we can define the angle of a vision. Look at that. So simply angle of vision is defined as at the maximum angle. At what the maximum angle at which you are able to see the whole object is called angle of vision. So here suppose Look at here first uh, rod, this second rod, and the third rod, they are in the boundary red color lines. So it is completely visible. If that is not in the boundary, here this region you are unable to see. It is not in the view. So here it is greater than 60 degrees. If it is becoming smaller, see it is also in our limit, right? So here it is less than 60 degrees. So if the angle is greater than 60 degrees, you are unable to see the whole object from the same distance. 
if it is less than 60 degrees, you are able to see the whole object from the same position that you have to estimate here. Let us uh, look at the definition. Here simply angle of vision is defined as the complete object visible to us from a distance. So here to see the whole object, what the minimum angle is required, it is 60 degrees. It is not less than that. It is also okay less than. If it is less than, what happens? We will see here. Right? So the maximum angle is 60 degrees. If it is more than 60, that whole object not visible. If it is less than 60, whole object we can see. So that angle will be defined as angle of vision. Then here, this angle of vision is only measured in case of healthy human eye. It uh, varies from person to person and with the age also, it is not same for all. Then here, what happens if the angle of vision is above 60 degrees? The angle of vision is above 60 degrees. Height of the object estimated is enlarged. Height of the object is estimated as enlarged. If angle of vision is smaller than 60 degrees, height of the object is estimated as smaller. Right? So this happens. It depends on the angle of vision. Height of the object estimated by our eye depends on angle of vision. So this is the topic of this video. If you like this video, please share it and comment. Thank you.